All right. Day two. Metroid Zelda Combo Randomizer. Been looking forward to this all day because there's a whole bunch of stuff I know I can just run over and get. We're still in the, uh, I guess you could call it the honeymoon period of the randomizer where item checks are plentiful and there's lots of places to go and you're getting lots of cool stuff. We haven't quite got to the, uh, you need one item to beat the game and can't find it. I am going to go through this door and get this item because it is just there's 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 oh. flippers I'll take that <laughs> I'll absolutely take flippers now interestingly as I was about to say there's there's always one more thing in Super Metroid the items are pretty well balanced there's like a couple areas that are a little short but pretty much there's always just another item if you just keep going so uh i'm pretty sure that they're not intending me to do this although i didn't quite jump far enough there we go um yeah, I'll just ride my little rocket across. Vanilla Logic does not want you to do that. <laughs> Vanilla Logic wants you to come back with Grapple Beam or Space Jump. I want to... I don't know if I can get high enough to peek at what that item is. Oh, well, I'm not going that way anyway. We have gravity suit though, so what I am gonna do Let's go get this freebie. Ah, more power bombs. We do need to click off the flippers though. Where's flippers on this thing? There they are. Uh flippers was a solid pickup. Really glad that I stuck my head in here for, you know, two seconds. I could. I have gravity suit. And I have speed booster. I'm not going to beat Fantoon. I'm not. Am I going to beat Fantoon? Am I going to beat Fantoon before I beat Kraid? Because I'm here. Uh, this is the problem, right? As I, I keep doing this, I think I want to be up one more. There's just so many items that I know where everything is. Oh, I have not been keeping up on missiles, have I? Oh, I have. Look at that. 1520? Oh, there we go. Tracker is official again. I think. Yeah. Oh. I don't have charge beam or high jump. I'm not actually that good at fighting Fantoon. I mostly came in here because I'm, I'm just too excited to grab every item. We're turning around. We shouldn't even be over here. No, no. Shouldn't be over here. This is something you have to train yourself. Obviously, I'm failing. Don't just keep going in a direction because you can. Go the direction the game is expecting you to go, because then you'll get the progress to actually be able to do everything. Now, I'm getting the flippers was fine because we have gravity suit. So it's not, it's not weird 
that I could get the flippers. I believe that regular wall jumps are... Like, the logic assumes you can do wall jumps. They're just so basic. Kind of like how in the Zelda half, they just assume that you're going to have bombs. Because they're just everywhere. Except everywhere that I look. Alright, more power bombs. Oop. I almost made it through. Alright. Boop, power bombs. Ha, 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 ha. Alright, grab two more quick items and then we'll go down and... That's on me. Can I kill these? Yes, but it's super inefficient. Yeah, big rupees. But also, harpies. Uh, harpies. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I was trying not to do. Alright, well. We've pretty thoroughly scoured every Super Metroid area so far. old plasma beam just pew, pew, pew. I'm perfectly okay with having plasma beam I'm a ball you know I hadn't noticed before now but most of the time earthworm Jim or er, most of the time Samus's other sprites like earthworm Jim here usually they have a custom morph ball but this one doesn't it's fine I mean, they kind of have the animation of him sucking himself into the ball, so it's not outrageous. Anyway, so back down here. We were here before. And I left, because... Um, it was time to go... It was time to go back to... Zelda... But also, to go get that Titan mitt, or Power Glove, Power Glove, because I, I forgot one item, and it was, what that was beautiful, that was beautiful. Speed Booster plus Gravity Suit, yeah, it was telling me to go there. Very happy that I caught that. Um, if I was playing optimally, I, if I was going to kick myself for anything, it would be going back to Zelda that first time soon as we got here without checking high jump cuz there's there's the door to Zelda there's three items in here first one's a heart piece that's just some arrows come on we can we can jump and missiles. Okay, so we didn't miss anything major. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark art that heart piece. <laughs> so this is... So I've, I've mentioned before that item density is a factor. You definitely want to go towards things that have more items also. I never remember to kill that thing before.
All right. And just as good as an item is information. We can look at this item. Ice beam. Okay, for the first time, I actually do. <laughs> I actually do want to be there. Interesting. Usually I walk in there and it's a missile tank or something. So you don't want to be there. Interesting. Let's save the game. There's a lot of things I can do. Um... In terms of what I should do, I should go and clear grade. In terms of what I'm going to do, that wasn't right. I'm going to go look at what would be on Ice Beam. I don't know why I bothered doing the trick. I have Speed Booster. I could literally just run. And speaking of running, we don't have various suits, so this is absolutely something that we are not supposed to be in here trying to get. Come on. Yeah. slide on in this is a this is a great one to just get in here and look at oh god again okay first of all um again this stack this seed is stacked i keep finding items just freaking everywhere we're not supposed to have that bow yet absolutely not supposed to have it Here's the problem. I'm almost dead. And it's hot out there. I don't think we're going to make it out. Especially if I get really sloppy like that. <sighs> okay, so... Um, don't kill yourself getting things that you're not supposed to have yet. But I'm not giving back that bow. I am absolutely not giving back that bow. You guys are really, really stingy on the energy drops. It's like the game knows. It wants to punish me. Oh, we're not giving that back. Not even a little bit. <laughs> I can get by on this energy. If nothing else, there's a whole bunch... Oh, it just gave me... Lame. I was kind of hoping that would just be an easy energy farm right there. But all they drop is bomb. Okay, fine. We are just going to play a little more carefully. Not go barbarian mode. And we're going to go uh, fight a boss. That makes sense, right? Officially, am I supposed to be able to get into Kraid? Hmm. I believe no, because I don't think that the game would require you to make this jump. See how I wasn't even close? You have to know to take off the speed booster.
because speed booster cuts your jump height for some reason. Plus, it's a tight jump. The story goes that it was considered impossible, so nobody tried, and then somebody just did it, and they're like, wait, this is actually really easy. Alright, at least we have plasma, though. Plasma makes the bad guys go a little bit easier. <laughs> And the mirror. Oh, man. Mirror. We just picked something else up, and I don't even remember what it was. Oh, we saw Ice Beam. We didn't pick up Ice Beam. We saw Ice Beam. But yeah, um... Logically, we should have gone back to Zelda a long time ago, right? When we picked up... The mitt. When we picked up the mitt and the flute, I believe... I believe the game wants us to be going to Desert Palace, is what it's saying. I don't have the book, but I think because I have flute... I think flute lets me get up onto the ledge. I could be wrong. Again, not as not as familiar with all the tips and fancy tricks and stuff in Zelda. I've definitely played that randomizer a couple times, but uh, there's a reason that I have the Link to the Past map on the screen and not the Super Metroid one. I can't believe we got the mirror, too. Just... Wow. This has happened before, that, uh... I get a couple of early Super Metroid items. Because Irix and I would split the two games. So he'd get a couple of Super Metroid items, and then I would basically full clear Super Metroid in one go. <laughs> and he would just go and play the rest of Link to the Past. Just with a hundred more extra item checks having been done already. Alright, this is probably plenty, but we're right here. I've never had that stupid eyeball actually launch its eye boogers at me. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. I got a present for you. Got a present for you. Got a present for you. Oh, man. It's Plasma Beam! I don't know the timing to do the quick kill. Pew, pew, pew. Can't see. There we go. One more, I think. Yeah. Two more. Hey. So that's what, four total? Four super missiles, he goes down. Crystal seven. What? That's new. <laughs> Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? No, that says Turtle Rock. Level seven is Misery Mire. Well, 
What is this? I don't I, I don't know. I don't know what the I didn't know they mixed which boss had which thing. <laughs> okay. Boop. I'll take it. Where was the first sword? <laughs> the first sword was just in Kakariku, if I remember right. We have got some ridiculous drops. Pew, 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 pew. Plasma beam. Plasma beam. I need to just send this seed. This needs... This is like... Really? Did you guys respawn because I went down? Now, I, I do believe I'm not supposed to be in here. I did a jump that I don't think the logic would expect you to do. Well, oh, art container. Boop. So we full cleared Crade. Despite technologically not being able to get into Crade. I think now we're supposed to really go back to Zelda. We have so... As much as I want to go hunt, right? I want to push my luck. I want to just see how far I can go without going into Zelda. But the correct strategic decision is to turn back. I'm not I'm not going to turn back. Because even though it is the smarter thing to do, we can full clear at least level one because we got the bow. We can... F I'm pretty sure we can get into dungeon two. We have mirror and flute. So there's nothing stopping us from taking out um, Hera. There's a lot, a lot we can do in Zelda. But uh, I have to do it the hard way. And I'm failing at it. I'm super failing at it. We're gonna die. But I want to see what the item in here is. We're definitely not making it out. Hundred percent not making it out. We're not even gonna get to the item. That was sloppy. Oh yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna do it again. I didn't say I wasn't gonna do it again. I said it was sloppy. For some reason, I was expecting them to have moved that ledge. Um, it's a very difficult wall jump to get out of this room here. Pew, 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 pew. That's... Hello? Okay. That's what I was trying to do the first time. I just flubbed it over and over again. Again, we're not... We're not making it out of this room.
Oh yeah, it's just a super missile. We don't even... We ain't coming back for this even. We're not even going to try. <laughs> See, this is what I was expecting to happen at the ice beam location where we got the bow. Was just walk in, boop, it's nothing. Die, go back to the save point. Information has been gained, nothing has been lost. And then the bow was like, oh, I have to get out of here alive. We're not supposed to have the bow. We need to keep that in mind. We're not supposed to have the bow. There's... A possibility. Oh, that's a rupee. I don't want that. I don't know how accurately I can jump this next bit. I don't have ice beam. I don't have high jump. This is not a happy jump. Because I have to jump out at like just the right time. And not get bonked by that thing. Thank you. Oh, I am going to turn off. Get a little bit of my height back. You can, you can do this. And there's two items in there and I kind of just, I kind of just want them. Kind of just want them. I don't have ice beam. I don't have any good reason to even be here. Other than greed. If I had high jump, I'd already be up there. If I had ice beam, I would already be up there. All right, I don't know if it's worth. Oh. I'll give it a minute. I mean, we're not a million miles away. Getting just a touch. It's just a touch. Oh. All right, my minute is up. We had some more information. Um, it's not. That's a great example of don't push your limits. Like don't. Don't go after tr things that are going to require you to do tricks over and over and over and over and over again to get even close. The game is very clearly telling us, turn around, go back, do some Zelda. There's a very high chance that the next time we go into Super Metroid, we just full clear it. All right, we're gonna go. Man, we have bracelet. We can get, we have dark world access. We have like, dear God, we have a lot of things we can do. We're gonna start by crossing this bridge because this is, this is what I believe the game wants us to be doing. Um, this will get us to items that are in logic, not my running around to getting things we shouldn't have. So like, technically we shouldn't have the mirror yet. 
I believe we should have Pearl, but the, the mirror we got in Kraid, so definitely not supposed to have that mirror. I didn't want to go down. Fine, we'll go. Go in here. Bum, bum. Is this the one I want to drop down? Yes, it is. Missile. Bigger sword. Okay. Clickety. Clickety. Um, again, the game was not expecting us to go and beat Kraid yet. We don't have high jump. We don't have space jump. So. That was supposed to be sword number two. We do have boomerang. So. This is not a huge deal. Power bomb, heart container, or heart piece. Let's go. Power bomb, heart piece. High jump. Charge beam. Wow, stacked. High jump. Charge beam. I already forgot the other thing. It's probably a missile. Bum, bum. We have the bow. Making sure I clicked everything. Looks fine. Wow. Okay, so. High jump puts Kraid in logic. So the game wanted us to turn around from here go back and beat Kraid guess they didn't need to do the trick anyway booms oh haha <laughs> haha I forgot I had item toggle nice that's eh, just a shop Okay, so. Oh, I need to be checking these off because I don't, I do not know where I'm going. <laughs> I believe that's called Paradox Cave? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's. Get my cursor off of there. So like I said, aim for, if you're just looking for items, aim for where there's more items in one spot. For me, Super Metroid is uh, one giant spot that just has all the items in it. But now that we're in Zelda, I need to actually plan things out. Like, obviously, there's a ton of stuff up here on the mountain. We just got five. There's another one we saw earlier. I just have to remember which, uh, which thing I have to fall down to get to it. I want to say it's the second one. I'm gonna go in here. This looks promising. Bum, 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 Guess which item you don't normally have at this point. <laughs> do, do, da. Give me my heart. This should be that last item. Blue cane. Yep, that's red cane. Blue cane. Don't really know what to do with blue cane. Feels like one of those not as necessary items. I think it only does like 
it, it overlaps with the magic cape is the problem. So, not sure that's going to do anything for us. Alright, checking off Spiral Cave. We can go to Tower of Hera. Bum, 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 bum. But I think we go this way to get there. We go the normal way. Because there is an item on the way up. Got my way. Can I go talk to old man? Is old man here yet? I don't know how that works for the randomizer. Do I get my item or do I have to actually save him? Apparently I uh, just get a heal. That's fine. I needed it. That's fine. My cabbages. Okay. As much as I want to beeline it to the village to activate flute, we don't really need it yet because everything we want is up here. All right, what's up there? Rupees. Don't care. What's over there? Power bombs. Don't care. If that would have worked, I would have taken them, but yeah, don't care. Bubba dubba dumba dumba. This is not where I want to go. There's going to be there's going to be a lot of that that I know vaguely I want to end up at Tower of Hera. I don't actually know where I don't actually know the right path. Hmm. Do I have to exit that way? There's no other exit? Ugh. Lame. I didn't want to have to walk all the way back up, but... That's what I get for not knowing the area that well. We're going to need the mirror. And back. I mean, we might as... We might as well. We don't have book... I'm gonna go look at what's at the floating island. Just so I know if I have if I need it or not. I can't actually get far enough apparently. Dang it. I would have really liked to not have to bother. I should have come from the other side while I was already up there. Uh got the rock. Spectacle rock cave. Oh, that was the power bomb, we don't care. Okay, yeah. So this says Tower of Hera has two items. I believe that means that there are two not dungeon item items. So the the map, compass, and treasure chest, or map, compass, and small keys, and big key already count as chests in here.
but there are two extra ones that had rupees or something in it normally. Yeah. All right, that's a compass, so that's not one of them. I want to say I go down first. I feel like there's like one treasure chest in the bottom area, or there's just the big key, which we're going to definitely want. Yep. Definitely going to want that. I have no small keys, so I can't actually go into the basement that I was thinking of. Whoop, 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 whoop. Knock me. Bomb. Uh, which way do I want it to be? I think I just don't want to touch any of the stars, I think. Until we get here. Feels right? I don't know. I don't pretend to be good at this one. Alright, what about you? Small key. Also does not count. Map. Does not count. It does mean that we've got all three of the dungeon items. Um, so I've got a small key. If the one in the basement is another small key, then it is not one of the items I care about. And we will know based on whether or not I find another item. Well, I haven't found any item yet. Alright. No toasty turtle. Game's lagging just just a little bit. We'll get rid of these guys. It's this one that drops us down into the pot. Yeah. All the way down. All the way down. But it's just fairies. All right, so not anything I'm looking for. I guess Moldorm counts as having an item, doesn't he? So Moldorm plus one, I guess. All right, well, that was an exciting boss fight. What you got for me? A bottle. Ooh. What the hell is that? hell is that? It just counts as one of the Metroid bosses killed? Oh, interesting. Where's my map button? That has a P on it. And a Metroid. I didn't know they did this. So, okay, so Metroid with a P on it, that's got to be Fan 2, right? 
trade Ridley Fantoon Dragon Dragon which one did we get though because Fantoon's not really I guess he might be orange-esque which one would be red I'm gonna guess green for Kraid Dragon is also green does Ridley count as red I don't know um, the only one that really matters is Dragon. If you get Dragon credit early, you can go through some of the shortcuts and do Meridia faster. Because no, some of those doors only open after you beat the boss. I don't think anything matters for Kraid. I don't think anything matters for Ridley. Oh, 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 it matters a lot for Fantoon, because that turns on wrecked ship. None of the doors or anything work until you beat Fantoon. So if that is Fantoon, the game is saying I have to beat Dungeon 1, Eastern Palace, before I can do anything in wrecked ship. Interesting. That's interesting. And I've never gone into fight Fantoon with the power already on interesting too bad I can't see if he's a like a pendant and then just skip him alright we're learning things about how this randomizer works also what did we get from that boss again oh a bottle I was clicking bottle boop bottle clicked so because I only saw one weird item. I'm gonna guess that down here is where the other one is. Schrodinger's turtle. I am both in the room and not in the room. Any day now, they'll, they'll give up. The very floor. The very floor is trying to kill me. I want to say I want it flipped the other way in this next room. Come here. Come here. Ah. Uh, do, 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 do. It's a good thing we have the fire rod. Bombs. Okay. I believe that that is the end of Tower of Hera. Which is also the end of our time up here in the mountain. Boop. Hmm, the crystal thingy down there lit up automatically. So my boss tracker is not going to be terribly accurate because it doesn't know that they're not actually the right ones. Oh well. Probably going to beat all the dungeons anyway. I mean, we're going to get down to that last item. It's going to be like silver arrows or something, and they're going to be somewhere crazy, and we're going to have to dig into every single dungeon to get them. It's always that last one. Um, let's see. Fine, I'll go in here. I'm out of... Well, yeah, I'm out of things I can do up here. Sadly, we don't have our bird yet. We have the next best thing. We have two reasons to go back to town now. We definitely want to get, um... 
or burb online. Can't touch this. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Definitely want the bird. Makes getting around the map so much easier. Do I? Oh, there's just so many things. There's so many things to do on the Zelda side. Oh, there's so many things. Ah! I don't remember how many checks there are, but Super Metroid, easy 100. That's how they calculate your completion percentage. Uh, Zelda, I want to say it was like 400. It's like literally four times as many items in Link to the Past as in Super Metroid. And now we have the duck. And because we have an empty bottle, we can go visit sick kid. Is it this house? No. Must be the one underneath. Nope. He's over here somewhere. The map is lighting up one more house to the left. I knew it was here, I just forgot which house. Yo, give me some stuff. Eh. Boop, missile. We got Mr. Bird online, though. Where do we want to go? That's the question. Where do we want to go? Let's clear another... Do we clear another dungeon? Oh, I'm not sub I don't have, uh... Hmm. That's... Oh, let's go turn in that stupid mushroom. It's just sitting there. It just is literally just a warp point. We can just walk in and turn it in. <laughs> Fine, I will come back super, super much later. Okay, it's been later. Also, I killed your thing. All right, mushroom was piece of heart. It's an extra heart. Uh, we have flippers. The map is telling me we can go visit Zora's domain. Got one, two, three, three or four items, depending on how this randomizer handles the uh, fairy fountain. Got the flippers. Pretty sure everything I've done is in logic at this point. We just got some stuff a little faster. And that's that's really the beauty of the randomizers. If you know a trick. Um, it, it doesn't mean that you... Ooh, two items. Ice rod. All right. That's important. Exactly once. It doesn't really matter whether or not you can do the tricks. It doesn't matter if you do the tricks early or not. Doing the tricks really just... Oh, we're not getting that item. Doing the tricks early, all it really did was save me some time going back and forth. So if you know the tricks, great, you don't have to bounce back and forth between the games as much. 
uh, when Irix and I finally get around to doing this multi-world, he's going to be doing all of the Zelda tricks and just skipping all over the place. And I'll be clomping through here, Vanilla. Okay, so Zora was definitely nothing. Boop, boop. We're just going to fly away. Flappity flap. Flappity flap. Can I not summon the bird here? Do I have to be on grass? Am I... Am I missing something? Did I forget a step to get the bird to work? No, because I used it to get here. It must just not work in Zoro's domain. That's weird. So. I feel like I want to give Eastern... Not Eastern. Um, Desert Palace a try. Now can I flute? Thank you. I mean, I suppose... I suppose we'll find out if it works. Yeah, I can't get in there. So maybe I can't actually get in here. Well, I can look at the ledge and just go bloop. Not going back to the ledge. We don't have books, so we can't go in that way. I was kind of hoping we could sneak in the side, but actually, what we're going to do is save and quit. And then start from Sanctuary. We still don't have light. Technically, light stops us from doing the dungeons. Um, there's a bunch of stuff we can do in Dark World, though. Because we have Dark World access. But there is also... Oop. Get off me. Um, oh, I'm supposed to be in Dark World and then come here. Dang it! Bird! Yeah, I don't see people go to that one very often, do you? Um, there's an item on a ledge I think we can look at. Just to see if see if it's worth coming back for. Right there. Nope, not worth it. And then there's the hobo. And then we go Dark World. I don't really... I'm not confident enough in my... Link to the past tricks to be able to do the dark rooms without light. So, even though in Metroid I will push my luck very far, I, uh, not so, not so much want to do that here. Huh, bomb upgrade. Alright. I, I don't have a way of clicking that, but okay. Now I have to get out of the water again. Is this going to stop me from using bird like it did before? Just Zoro's domain. Alright. Let's see if I'm remembering right about being able to open up. Nope, this is in the way. How do I get in the dark world again? I don't have hammer to use that portal. I could play around on the mountain.
a Is that what they're expecting? No, but I still don't have. I don't remember all the places you can go to Dark World. Oh. I bet you I can do this one. I bet you I can do this one. There's no item here, is there? No, not yet. I don't have anything. We're gonna go fight Aghanim. Assuming I don't get locked again. I want to say there's a dark room in the castle, but it's only... It's so small. Just because I didn't have anything else equipped yet. Get off of me! Stop standing in my hitbox. Tools. We haven't picked up anything new. Well, we got charge beam, but... Nothing new to push Metroid unless unless we can get into Dark World. Where's my flute? Can I get at that Dark World thing from the other side? I, I vaguely remember not needing... Because you get... Wait, you get Hammer in Dark World. Oh, after you beat Aghanim, of course. See, I just... I can't remember the vanilla... <laughs> the vanilla ways of getting to Dark World. And I'm looking at that map, like, can I get to... The Metroid ones that get me to Dark World? I probably can. Oh, but if I turn this into a Dark World portal, does that stop me from being able to get whatever the item in escape is because it'll warp as soon as you go in that might be a problem if I don't <laughs> checking those off hmm <laughs> There's two more things I can do in Eastern Palace. Hey, wait, does the game tell me which things I beat? Oh, hey, it does. Okay, so we have... Why are there only seven... Are there only seven dungeons in Dark World? Am I just misremembering? One, two, three, six, seven. All right. Fine. For some reason, I thought there was eight. Uh, but that's 100% Ridley, now that I look at it. That is 100% Ridley counting as dead, not anything else. Now that I have high jump, I can go get those other two items. Um, the game is telling me I have Dark World access. I just can't remember. Huh. 
Just look it up. Link to the past. Dark world portals. I mean, that's the most simple way to do it. If you don't know where things are, just just look it up. This is a... This is fine. All right. So there's the one we use, the one at the castle, the one we need, the hammer or the, the, the village one, yeah. Also needs the hammer, also needs the hammer. Ah. No, that one. We don't have the upgraded mitt yet. Still don't have the hammer. Yeah, so... What it must be assuming is that I'm going to fight my way through Metroid. We're going to go for Aghanim. Because if I'm wrong, and there's no dark room here, then this is just the obvious, this is what you were supposed to do. If there is a dark room, then fine. But I'm still going to try to push my way in. Bloop. I feel like there's a dark room. Hi, I would like you to be stunned. Thank you. I'd like you to also be stunned. Thank you. Greetings, would you like to be stunned? Thank you. A treasure chest. A key? Literally the only thing it could be. Um, ah, crap. You know what? Hey, I got through a door. Oh, another guy down. Oh, there's a bad guy left. Where are you? Where are you at, bad guy? Up oh, there you are. Oh, this... <laughs> it's really handy when they light up like that. Like they've been electrocuted. I'm reasonably certain that the door is on the top. I could look up the map, but that would defeat the whole purpose. I mean, there's... These rooms aren't that big. I feel like... If I just take a swing... If I just randomly hit, like, a brazier or something, a brazier... That'd be pretty sweet. There's another thing in here? I thought I killed everything. Because if they're not all dead, the door won't open. I'm sure of it. I choose you, Boomerang. Find me more potential things that I need to kill. Alright, 
up, over, throw, boomerang, go down, I shouldn't have even made it this far. I just found that other door by fluke. I don't even know how to open the door. For all I know, there is a... What do you call it? A treasure chest just in this room. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... I don't have it. I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to do it the way that I'm sure that I can figure out how to do it. And that is to uh, fling myself through the other portal in Super Metroid. Do I want to start? Where do I want to start? I want to start Norfire. We got high jump. Heal because I can. I don't regret coming to Zelda. We beat a dungeon. But I'm definitely going to make more progress yeeting myself across the map in Super Metroid. Did they just give me the whole map? How nice of them. We're going to go uh, to the left because I do believe that this would be the more intended way. So we have speed booster, so we're allowed to go here. We have power bombs, so we're allowed to go down here. This is something that you could just do. This is not a trick of any kind. Hold right as you go through this door. What's over there? Bombs, don't care. This room just needs speed booster. And ends pretty quick with a trip down to go fight a boss. Oh yeah, I have charge beam now. <laughs> I'm not supposed to have this. I'm not supposed to have this. I'm not supposed to have this. <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs> that was it! The first hit always makes him take one step back, and the second hit... Pfft, gone. And... I'm gonna get some speed. And... Yeet! Harpies. Get some speed. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. That was a very short run through a hot area. I... I don't feel like the game would... be expecting you to run through the hot areas on normal difficulty, but on the other hand... It was such a short run. And it didn't require any fancy inputs. It was literally just me holding the button and running. All right, heart container. Boop. There's two more items. 
We One of them is just literally run over here and grab it. Hi, give me a whole bunch of health. Thank you. Hi, do it again. It's almost not worth making the last jump. Oh, I guess I could fix my ammo count. There we go. I only missed one missile. Okay, I kind of want... That was a lot. We do. Okay, we out. Two more items. Both of which need speed booster, which we have. Doop 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 doop. Yeah. Not worth it. All right, last one. Is this one something cool? Pegasus boots. I know. uh... I know somebody who very much likes Pegasus boots. Um, I don't think that... No, it, it turns on two checks according to the map. Which, now that I think about it, yes, there's two things by the cemetery that both want Pegasus boots. Hmm, where else can I go? Assuming it, it's not really worth running back to do two checks. I do know where Ice Beam is, but I don't think I can get to it. In a normal run... Yes. I might as well reload my energy, since it's basically free. Five of these spawn at the same time, so you get five times the energy drops. Very convenient. I don't believe that I can get across to get Ice Beam. I don't know a trick to do it. Because it's at the top of a room that I think it needs either Space Jump or Grapple Beam. It's not even a huge amount. There's probably a way to do it with um, Speed Booster. I mean, there's a way to do basically everything with Speed Booster. But I don't know how to do it. And I'm not gonna, I'm not going to waste more time experimenting trying to do something that I don't know how to do. I do, however, have just enough of a death wish that I want to try to get up there again, now that I have high jump. I need energy, though. I'll be fine famous last words. So, this is another case of we're going to go look at what the item is. If the item is important, alright, then I'll go figure out how to get enough energy to not die while I'm in there. Yeah, see how much easier that is with high jump? Just, we just up. Heart piece, not that interesting. There's two items on the far side of this room. Twenty rupees. 
and spring ball. I don't think I'm going to make it out, and I don't think I care. Yeah, spring ball. <sighs> uh, is it worth bothering with s trying to get spring ball out of there? I could do it. But spring ball is so not useful that I I don't think it even helps. Like, I don't think it helps me. Hey. We don't need don't need extras. Depending on what my energy looks like as I come out of this next piece, I might grab it just if I'm coming out at like full energy if I can get around that ledge Then we can go see one, two, three more items. Come on. I'm not 100% sure where the hitbox is. And this is another one of those you have to hit it like on the bottom. The bottom most pixel so that you can still push away long enough to get around the lip without bonking your head. So I don't believe that I can just... Wait a minute. I can. Can't I? Can't I just running jump from here? Okay, that was a terrible example. I think I can just run and jump from here. Like, start running. <sighs> Didn't quite get the button press for the jump. I think I can just run and jump. I remember that being a thing. Assuming the button press for the jump registers. up there. We were there. Ugh. It's just getting the... I'm hitting it too early. It feels like if you watch, it's like... It feels like you're doing it late. But you're doing it early because the game hasn't finished loading in yet. So from the game's point of view, you're just holding jump. All right, so this is a hot room, but we have another one of those things that spawns five at a time. So we're going to load up on our energy. And as soon as, all right, I'm gonna sprint, gotta go fast. Zoom. Check what the item is. Sure. What are you? Missiles. All right. Well, those are not something we need. But we are going to reload our energy and grab 
hopefully another item that is better. Or at least get close enough to know whether or not we should try for it. We still don't have various suit, which is funny to me. So we come out of those hot rooms at higher health than when we went in. Oh, I will I will take the free energy, thank you. Alright, this one's a little hard. I don't have to go very far. So I think I can do it. Ugh, oh, I did not want to take that damage. Up. Magic powder. Is magic powder worth fighting to keep? Oh, magic powder and blue mail? I don't think I can get out of here. And neither of those are progress. Magic powder does let me do the bats, and I believe I can get at least one of the bats. I don't think I can get out. I'm going to try. We've only got the one reserve tank left. Gonna need you guys to drop some energy, please. Dang it! We weren't actually that far away. If I wasn't sloppy, I might be able to get in there and get out, but we're we're at really low energy. If I had one more energy tank, we would have made it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count if you jump there. Damn. I'm well aware this is not where the game wants me to be. But the second I have anything that lets me get in there a little easier, rather than just try over and over again, I'm going in. So we know, at least. That's that's the thing. So, like, we don't have to do the one with the speed booster again. Because there was literally nothing there. But we will... Go back and get blue mail. Because I want it. And we get magic powder for free on, on the way in. And magic powder is itself a couple of checks. I'm not convinced that the answer isn't go back to Eastern Palace. We have Bo. We could do everything short of the dark rooms, and I think there's like one dark room. I'm sure that if I had just gone a little bit further, I would have got, I don't know, Various Suit. Various Suit would make all of that free. But this... We have Gravity Suit. Gravity Suit means we can do the water area. So maybe this is where they intend us to go. Because now we have high jump. And there's a couple of tricks I can do to force my way higher and higher. Rupees, not worth getting. Although there is... There is something else down here I want. Which I want to say is... This door.
I never come to Meridia early. This is weird having so little health and so few upgrades. Can't catch me. There's two items in here we can look at. I don't even need the turtle to do it. Just a missile, don't care. Yeah, a little soon. I don't have spazer or wave beam, so... Is it there? Okay, missile. Alright, two more down. Information has been gained. Just go backwards up here instead of bothering with the other way. Kill the crab. Since I didn't go up far enough, I don't know what this item is. Ten arrows. No. I had to double check it wasn't silver arrow. Doop to doop doop. Um bum 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 bum. Do Hmm, I don't actually have I don't have ice beam. Can I... I can get up there. I'm reasonably certain that I can force my way up there. I just did this the other day, but I had grapple beam at the time. Ugh. Can I rock it up from this room? Nope, way too much stuff in the way. And no space. <laughs> if I had that ice beam, I could 100% do it. But I don't have ice beam. So what I'm trying to do... Oh, I see what I can do. See what I can do. I'm trying to use speed booster to get height. There we go. I thought that was a way taller vertical shaft. All right. Cheating our way. I mean, if you're using speed booster in a relatively easy jump, I don't know if that's really cheating. That was not... Once I thought about it, that was not a complicated one. I was trying to make it harder than it was. kind of want that. Oh no, I don't have spring ball. Kill all of you, and, yeah, kill all of you, and then we get two more items. Really? Figured you would die. I mean, a bomb capacity, okay. I don't really care about three bombs, but bomb capacity is not terrible. It's not progress, but it's not terrible. It's better than another missile. And again, 
Item density. Two items? Why not? Although I think I mentioned this earlier. Or it was in the other randomizer. Um, this is so late by most game standards it is unlikely that they actually put key items this late uh, we're probably off the map right now we're probably doing things the game is not expecting because I probably missed something obvious like various suit by not diving into the dungeons but I don't want to dive in the dungeons. I want to push my luck in Super Metroid and then go back to Zelda with a full arsenal of weapons and just full clear everything in one try. Because I don't know what I'm doing in Zelda half the time. Yeah, kick that guy. Take that. Rupees. And arrow capacity. I'll take it. <sighs> I I don't like this is like my one pet peeve is forcing you to backtrack in And I don't, I just don't like this one specific area. And I already know one of those is a blue rupee, too. Bleh. Oops. I don't want the bloopy. I will, however. Come on. Come on. Can I just yeet from over here? Almost. I was literally up there a moment ago. Just give me a full jump. I know what I should have done. I didn't do it. I know what I should have done. Oh, come on. It keeps giving me the full... There we go. Just in case I screw up again. Is that Hammer? Hello, Hammer. <laughs> I will. I will force my way in there. God damn it. This is the one spot where Spring Ball would be nice. I'm not, I'm not leaving Hammer behind in my least favorite area. Oh. I don't have regular bombs. So normally I would just bomb jump. And it's just like, the one time I would have used Spring Ball, if I would have just gone back for Spring Ball, really? I can figure this out. I just have to push the buttons faster. What if I take off? I jump. Ooh, what if I take off gravity? Then I should jump slower. I'm not in the water! <laughs> the one time! Oh. 
All right, how do I... I don't want to leave Hammer behind. I found Hammer. It's right there. But this is not a, a trick I'm familiar with. I don't, I don't know the timing to get the bomb jump. I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure it works for somebody who knows what they're doing. I know where Hammer is. And I know I can get Spring Ball. It's just one of those. I know they don't expect... Oh, maybe they do expect you to have Spring Ball. I don't have Varia yet. I mean, Spring Ball's not even that far away relative to where we are. Because we're, like, right on the edge of... Oh, man. Having to go back for Spring Ball because I can't make the jump. Of all the things... Of all the stinking things... We do need to refill our energy so we go in at 100. Because I don't think we... I don't think I bothered healing before. And that was part of the reason we didn't make it out. I'm pretty sure I can top my energy off after we get over there, though. Man, spring ball. All because I can't make the jump. <laughs> oh, come on. Now we're making negative progress. Now, where's the thing I'm thinking of? Oh, I don't have wave beam. I don't have wave beam, so I can't get the freebie energy refill. So we'll do the next best thing. One of those five packs of guys is right here. This will fill us most of the way up. We also get bomb drops or missile refill so once we're especially once we're full of missiles and bombs it'll only drop energy it'll get us most of the way up and then I can get the last bit of energy fairly easy this does cut down on our overall need to grind out energy stupid hammer Again, what was what I was expecting was there to be nothing there, right? I suppose I should turn my jump back on. I was expecting there to be nothing there. That was supposed to be another one of those, ah, oh, look, hey, we went and looked at a thing and there was nothing there, oh well. That's what I was expecting. Uh, 
All right. Just try it. Trying to start it high as we can. Save the game. Go steal spring ball. I don't want to lose my energy to the random flying guy. Will you either die or go somewhere else? Alright. Okay, I thought it was a green door. will help if we don't have to kill those guys on the way up. Almost there. All right. We stole spring ball. Let's go steal hammer. I can 100% get hammer. Zoom. I guess I'll mark. Mark springy. There we go. I can't believe Spring Ball is actually going to be useful. Again, I don't know what the intended path is. I mean, it could be that they intend for you to get Spring Ball in order to get that item. But I bet you that you're supposed to have Various Suit first. So Various Suit is out there somewhere. I'm sure of it. It's probably in either Eastern or... Uh, maybe it's an escape. It's definitely accessible somewhere. It's something that I skipped. But I don't care. Because I can get a lot of... I can get a lot of stuff done without needing Varia. So... That's, you know, a nice little advantage on the one hand, because that means that I'm not searching for various suit, right? I'm, I'm able to make progress without it, which really just reduces the number of items that I need to find to be able to beat the game. Because eventually we're going to probably find it anyway, when I remember an item or when I actually go into Eastern, because there was at least at least one more chest in Eastern Palace that I could have opened if I hadn't have just left immediately upon seeing explosives to go play in Metroid. Especially because this seed was so Metroid heavy so early, I would honestly... That was not what I wanted to do. I would not be surprised if Various Suit was an Eastern. That's what I wanted to do. We are very, very low on energy. I'm going to do two things.
<laughs> is there is there an energy recharge over here as I just walk into a bad guy so I saved so I'm gonna go down into this pit and go look at what these two items are lantern damn it both of the pits in Meridia were useful items Jesus. All right, well, that gives us way easier. Yeah, I don't want that. That gives us way easier access to Dark World than what I was going to do. And we're almost to... I believe we are almost. <sighs> that was probably what we were supposed to do. We were probably supposed to get Lantern and then come back for Hammer after. After we get Varia, wherever Lantern leads us. Yeah, screw you, little guys. Yeah, yeah, I made it through without even getting hit by any of you. Screw you, crab. <laughs> I made it through. The quicksand room. As I promptly miss every single crab. All right, we have not enough energy to uh, bunga bunga barbarian mode my way through like I usually do. Oh my god, is that an energy recharge room right there? Now it's the map room. Sometimes, though. Hey, we're up. We got a tank. We've got a tank. I could technically farm health right here. Because I could just sit here and kill these. But I'm already bored of doing that. <sighs> we gotta go get Hammer. Right? We have Spring Ball. It's the whole reason we came here. Was to go find items. Lantern not only lets us clear escape, which we're going to do first. We're going to do escape first in case we accidentally lock ourselves out. Uh, we're going to get Aghanim. Are we going to get Aghanim? We're probably going to kill Aghanim. Because that will give us Dark World easy enough. We're going to go clear Dungeon 1 first, though. Because Dungeon 1 is definitely a Tier 0, or Sphere 0 check, as they say. It's the place I should have already been. And since we can now officially full clear it, now I will go there. Alright, that's enough health. We can resume Oonga Boonga strategies. Gotta go get the hammer. I really thought I could reach the other ledge from there. We're gonna grab the hammer. We aren't... Really? Fine. Screw you, fish. Just kind of picking up this extra energy just... Been a little close to death a couple times this run. I really want Irix to do this one. Because I am very sure that he would be in Zelda doing all sorts of things. Finding the items that I'm ignoring. He probably would have the Varia suit very early. Because I'm sure it's early somewhere in Zelda. I'm sure. 
And he would be doing all of this stuff like, oh, a spring ball, that's convenient. Oops, did not actually mean to go through there. You and your thinking that's a one-way door. Silly game. All right, we're going to do this right the first time. Boing, boing. Da! First try. It's really tempting to just push forward. I know where Hammer is, and we have to come back this way anyway. And Hammer has no bearing on whatever we have that goes forward. I don't believe I can actually beat the boss, though. How far are we from the... We're not that far away from the Dark World portal. Once we have Hammer, once we have Hammer, we have full Dark World access. There's there's a million things to do in Zelda. Oops. I need to actually sink in that one. There's a million things to do in Zelda. If it wasn't for my disrespect of Spring Ball combined with my lack of being able to actually make this jump. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> I almost fumbled it. So you're supposed to actually use Spring Ball for this, I'm pretty sure. Fine. Because if you have Spring Ball, you just hold... God damn it. <laughs> One too many frames. Let me out. I hate quicksand. Jumpity jump. You're supposed to just jump with spring ball and go right around that corner. Oh, look, hammer. You know what? I'm going to get that rupee. Yeah, that's right. It's mine now. I mean, I'm going to click hammer over here and boom, there's like freaking map lights up like a Christmas tree. Forcing my way through Super Metroid, diving into Meridia, stealing a hammer that I am, I'm almost positive I'm not supposed to have the hammer. Because I'm not supposed to have Spring Ball. I'm sure I have been doing things out of order. We're going to go to Eastern Palace. And he's just gonna, it's like the next chest is gonna be Varia Suit. That's what's going to happen. But hey, part of the fun of randomizers doing things out of order. Flute. Flute again. Duck! Thank you. Doop. I probably should go do escape first, so I don't forget. But we're right here. We're right here. 
get over here. That's what you get. Buy boots now. Did I mark boots? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I can waste all sorts of time pretending to go fast now. Whee. Okay. Eastern Palace. Try number two. I was quite pleased to just walk out of here with bombs on the first try. Um, that just leads me to that, and there's no door. So we're going to go back. I'm not nearly as familiar with... I don't have a key. I guess we have to go this way. The big chest is right there, I know that much. Like, I vaguely know how to beat each room, I just don't know where each room is in relation to the other ones. Yeah. I may not also remember which one has keys in it. I do know I can do this. <laughs> care about this, because I think we were supposed to go the other way. Actually, I do want to be down, don't I? Guess not. I thought it would take me to the lower level over here. Now I have big key, I can open big chest. Zoop, zoop. I'm sure I don't want to go that way, though. Take that. Nope. Supposedly you can kill those guys before they're e they even spawn. But I am so over-equipped for level one, I don't care. Although... Is this one of those there's a key in the pot kind of rooms? No, okay. Just making sure. Alright. Don't care about rupees. I still don't have a small key. More bombs, okay. Can I not kill those? I suppose it's worth noting how many are in here. Three. So we've picked up two things of bombs and a thing of rupees. So I think we are... Oh, I forgot to click bow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, bomb does have a button I can click. Stupid bomb. Anyway. We got rupees and two things of power bombs, so I believe we are done with actual drops, short of the uh, boss. Not confident enough to not go look at chests. Seems like a job for him. I thought that was a boomerang thing. No, it's magic power. Powder. That's what that was. Dang it. I'm gonna guess this is gonna have a key in it. Somewhere. Bloop. 
There we go. Which you're supposed to use to open the door to the left, which I think is just going to take me nowhere, is my guess. Because I already have big key. I get the feeling I was supposed to just go straight to the boss. Because this takes me over here. It is technically another chest, so... Does that do actual damage? Get out of here. Stop it! Whatever. All right. Compass. And if there is... I bet you the boss is going to drop map is what's going to happen. It's what's going to happen. Boss is going to drop the map. That's okay. Sometimes you just need to learn how the rando works. Kill you, kill you, because I can actually see. I don't even need the bow for you. I think that's because I have a slightly bigger sword than I should have. Yay, rupees! Okay, we're done with this room. Uh, yeah, I have a key. I would like that magic power or magic powder that I don't I don't have because I didn't have quite enough health to steal it. I would also like that blue mail right next to it. But we need another uh, energy tank or something so that I'm not just wasting my time just trying to force my way in. Pew. Wake up. Wake up. Die. I do like how much health we have in this one, though. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. How many arrows do I have? I guess I should pay attention to that. Outside the map. All right. So that is Fantoon counts as dead, which means we can now access everything in wrecked ship. And I can get everything in wrecked ship. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can clear wrecked ship. We don't have the green pendant, so we can't really cross off Sarsaparilla's house yet. But we definitely can finish Escape, which is where we're going to go next, so I don't screw up and do Aghanim. We're just going to start from Link's house. Ba -doop, ba -doop. I want the rupee. Bam, bam, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I can finally, finally go into escape. This says 
Hyrule Castle has one, two, three, four, five, six chests, including the one in Escape. I'm reasonably certain I didn't miss anything so far. I know there's that, that one secret room that has four chests in it in the waterway. There's, you know, Zelda herself. There's two chests on the way. I'm feeling pretty confident that I didn't miss anything in the castle. Because there's just not that much room to miss something. You need the keys. You walk past every chest. I'm pretty sure there's no chest in a random spot. The only, the only one that gives me trouble is somewhere on the right side over here. There's one chest somewhere in... I don't remember these guys being black before. There's one chest down in here in the darkness and that's the chest I missed. That was my hook shot in the very first randomizer I ever did. Oh, I still need the key. Hmm. Awkward. Was that one of those kill all the bad guys to get a key things? All right, well, that's... Lantern? Nothing? But yeah, my hookshot was down there, and I didn't know that it existed. So I... did, uh... I did all of the game that I could do. I was literally only missing hookshot. I could do everything else. Everything that doesn't require hookshot, I was able to do. The key must be up here somewhere then. Is it one of these rats? There's four chests. I'm not... I'm not blocked out, right? Am I, I'm just missing... I'm just forgetting something. About how you get the key. I gotta just be forgetting something. Killed all the rats. I killed all the snakes. Is that supposed to be a key normally? What am I what am I missing? So, ooh, ooh, I know. Okay, maybe, maybe. Is this one of those, so it won't let me out that way, but is it one of these graves? Can't I push a grave and get into escape? Or a rock? I think it's a. I think it's a grave. Really? Come on. Wanna go B? Bonk. I can get in there, right? 
if I bounce off the dark world. I'm sure that there's a secondary way into escape. Is it this? Okay. They, they were not going to lock me out of... Ooh, this is very a suit. This has got to be a very a suit, because we... All we needed was bomb, and... Bomb and glove, and we had those. Various suit is here. Or not. Well, that's three chests. How many did it say that there were? This one's game. Yeah, I'm going to call that done. At least I remembered I could do that. And then hopefully we can walk out the front door. And if I do need to go back in, I won't have to put as much effort into it. I can just walk in the back of Sanctuary. Because now it's open. Give me a present. You give me a present. Nobody wants to give me a present. We haven't found any more energy tanks for Metroid. <laughs> One energy tank would get me that magic power powder and the, the blue mail. <laughs> Alright, let's go get bonk rocks. Zoop. Okay. If they actually attacked with their sword, they wouldn't be so annoying. But they don't. They just stand on you, and then you're swinging your sword, but you're outside of the radius. All right, missile. All right, click. Oh, yeah, we can actually officially do the old man now. We should do that. And we should go take a look at what's in Lumberjack. So... Now that we don't need... Oh god, we could have... No, because we just... We stole the lantern. Let's go look and see what's in here, because this... No, not even here. The cave out back, of course. What's here? I mean, not terrible, but not worth going all the way up to Aghanim for. So, bloop, done. Let's officially do the old man. I don't think he's going to give us anything too exciting, but it will give us the ability to save warp up there without having to pull the bird out. Come on, old man. What you got for me? Bums. Get out. You would. You would. All right, old man's done. Badoo. All right, everything else in Light World requires us to go to. Dark World first. Alright. If you thought I couldn't remember what the hell I was doing in Light World, oh boy. I remember even less. I gotta go around. I remember even less about Dark World.
I mean, do I really have to go up and around? I guess it's not that far. <laughs> okay. We are officially in the dark world. All right. Supposedly, I can full clear Skull Woods, but there's only two items in it. And I'm not that familiar with Skull Woods. I'd like... So because I'm not that familiar with the Zelda half, like I've beaten it, right? But I'm not good at it. Let's go get some of these dense checks. There's what, four? Oh, one, two, three, four. Town is five items in addition to Thieves Town, which is another four if I do the dungeon. This is free. They've rigged this thing, so you you get it every time. Hey, we finally got a Metroid item. Yay! That would be Space Jump. Does Space Jump do anything for us? Nothing that I couldn't already do. So, quality of life, not more progress. Hey, screw you. I worked hard for that bomb. That's my bomb. You can have the rupee. Peasant. Um, let's see. There is the aptly named C-shaped house. Alright. Then we blow open the thing that I thought was in the light world. Good old chicken hut. Bump it about. Switchy, switchy bomb. It is a little easier to get around on the Zelda side. I have not been clicking all of those. You have warps, you have shortcuts that open up it's generally a lot easier to get around the zelda half can't help you yet uh, can i really do i really have to go all the way around i can't just i can't i have to go all the way around Oh no, I can jump off here. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Go do the digging game. Are you kidding me? Away. Shoot. nothing which is not surprising because remember we were so stacked so early at some point we have to just hit the draw right we have to hit the point that we need something and can't find it it's always going to happen the trick is to keep going and make prog the progress that you can Rue attack. Okay. Badoop. Might as well go get that item while I'm thinking of it without screwing up.
did the dig for treasure, did that, did that, did that. Okay. Might as well grab the couple of items that we just have to warp. Like, I think we just go stand over here and we go... We can just walk in here. And we get... Oh! Bombs! Well, now Spring Ball is back to useless. <laughs> Still, quality of life. Uh, oh, sp oh, Space Jump gives me Ice Beam, because I know where it is. Ooh, ooh. I don't want to waste my having already been in Dark World, though. Not when there's... Let's see... We did... That. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There's still a lot of very dense checks for us to go do. There's Hype Cave, for one thing. And we can go look and see what's on the pyramid, and we can do another one of those little warp jump thingies. There's a lot of stuff we can do. Might as well give Zelda a chance while we're still just... running around anyway. I still don't like how they just stand in your hitbox. Wave beam! Yeah! I don't think that opens anything for me, but... Missile. Rupee. Missile. Arrows. Alright, so at least we got... We got Wave Beam. Um, the only Wave Beam locked check in the game I did a trick to get, so... Okay. Oh, I have to go the other way. I knew that. Where's me hammer? Will you stop standing in my hitbox? Like, seriously. Even the ones holding weapons are just like, yeah, I'm just going to stand on you and you take damage. Jerks. Are you... F anyway. Don't care. None of you exist once I leave the screen, so... Enjoy your... Existential crisis. Oh. Gloove. Okay. <laughs> As the map just lights up again. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. There's a... Wow. Every... So, there, I was... I was a little bit stuck when I was forcing my way through Super Metroid because I don't have various suit, and I was kind of fishing for items that I knew I could get, but I knew weren't really in logic, I'm still sure that we're going to find various suits somewhere that I was 
supposed to go and didn't. But yeah, there's so many, so many things now. I almost, I almost don't like this part of the randomizer where you have so many places to go that it almost doesn't matter what you pick. You're going to have to just start wandering. I mean, I could go, I could go, I could go too many places. And yet still, I haven't found another energy tank for Metroid. And without that energy tank, I can't get my magic powder, which is what I want. There we go. That's what I was looking for. No. <laughs> In the light world, that's a fairy. All right. Let's go grab this item so I don't forget. I will take I will take all of the hearts. Apparently, we have to actually bomb that one. Really? Really? That's where Varia suit was? What was I supposed to get to get me here? Because the other glove was here. Hammer and Lantern were both in Meridia. But not difficult, Meridia. Hammer difficult, yes. But not Lantern. Yeah, I think the game intended you to go get the Lantern, the easy of those two. Then go beat Aghanim to get Dark World. Come, get the... Because you already had Mirror from Prayed. Yeah, you were supposed to come here after getting the Lantern, but not the Hammer. This gives you access to Spring Ball and Bomb. Because we got Bomb from being out here too. You were supposed to come here. So the tricks, what the tricks really mean is you don't have to go back and forth as much. You can make more progress each time you go. Um, I know where ice is. I don't need grapple. I could legitimately... I could beat Super Metroid right now. We have all the items. I don't have as much energy as I'd like, but I could absolutely do it. I would prefer to have X-Ray Visor before I fight Dragon, because that's my favorite way to kill him. And technically there is one item I can't get unless I have Grapple Beam, because I have to use Grapple Beam to remove a block. So 
technically there's one item I can't get in Super Metroid, but the chances of that one being important are very low. But, something to remember. Sorry, I didn't step on the right flower. Yeah, okay. As usual, we have choices to make. Do we... Go back to Super Metroid and just finish it. And then spend the most of the rest of the game in Zelda. Oh, okay. No, yeah, we have fan too. Yeah. Technically, there's another item I won't be able to get until I beat whatever boss is holding his drag on. Let's see. Crate is that one. Oh, we can skip Swamp then. Because, well, no, we have to beat it because, damn it. Crate doesn't give us any bonuses. Turtle Rock is a pendant. Interesting. Ice is a pendant. Wonder if I could get away with not going to either one of those. We should just do Thieves Town, and we should do Palace of Darkness. They are both full clearable, and they are the red ones, and the red ones give you access to the fairy. Yeah. That's probably what we do. And by what we do, I mean that's what we should do. We have very easy access to getting back into the dark world, but kind of just glancing. Glancing at more stoofs. Okay, we're going to. Duck our head in here and do the hammer pegs. Ba -doop, ba -doop. I mean, can I do the. Yeah! We. We. My buttons are not next to each other. A uh, whoopee. Whatever. We're gonna go save the blacksmith. Because he's also, like, right there. And then I think we're gonna go and take the purple chest to the thief. Just because all of these are basically in the same area. Just knock out these three things. 
hammer pegs, blacksmith, treasure chest. If I push the right button. And... Do I have to leave and come back to get my item? Thanks for the energy tank that I literally don't need now because of... Because we got Varia. Alright, treasure chest. Let's go take you somewhere. Bum, bum, ba, ba, da. This is a longer walk than I remember it being. <laughs> uh, treasure chest? Why did my treasure chest disappear? Well, that's obnoxious. You have to use the mirror. Now I have to go all the way back. <laughs> was it just because there was like a rock it clipped into or something? want fast checks. I don't want five rupees or whatever's in it to cost me five minutes. Unless it's in Super Metroid and it looks really cool to do. If I just grab you and I just mirror right here, do you follow me? Okay. It must have just tried to mirror into something. Like maybe it thought that rock was still there or something. I don't know. There's a lesson for you. Just always mirror immediately. So if the thing screws up... You don't have to worry about it, and you... Freaking ten arrows. I knew it was going to be something dumb. Blah! We have more or less cleaned up the random, like, all over the map stuff. Dungeon, dungeon, weird, weird ass cave thing, dungeon. It's pretty much just the. Whatever you... Oh, we don't have any of the spells yet. I just realized. We have no spells. So why does this game 
Oh shit. Why is it telling me I can beat this palace? I don't have any spells. <laughs> Must move faster. Alright. We have one chance. Apparently that was not uh, not a full one. We should be on 15 there. Shrink that back. I have completely lost count to how many I have. One, whatever, doesn't matter. Poo 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 poo. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna try to get this item though. All right. Okay, I'm not gonna get that item. Typical. Just for my information, I'm going to see what, uh, which warp this is. Oh, I see. It's okay. Yes, yes, yes. Decoding the map while I'm at it. All you just need to leave me alone, including you. So Meyer takes me to an energy room. Thank you. Meyer. Oh, yes. Meyer takes me to the bottom of Norfire. Which is a really cool warp, because <laughs> that's a long way to go. We're only missing, we're only missing ice beam. We have so much. Let's go get the item that's sitting right here. Huzzah. Let's go kill a mini boss. And zip. Boop. Am I just. Did I just get the positioning right on the first try? Wow. Yeah, uh, hard boss. There's a reserve tank over there, so we know this entire half of Ridley's zone is done. We do not have to go back to get a reserve tank. Not gonna happen. I lost my momentum, but that's okay. It's so nice to actually have all of my abilities. The last time I came through this area, it was a little bit not as easy. I'm 
can go grab a quick easy item. Especially now that I have regular bombs. I forgot I even had them. Oh, hello, X-Ray. Okay. I have everything off of my Super Metroid wish list. Just wow. The Super Metroid has been super generous. I don't know about various suits location. That was a lot of going back and forth to get that, but we've been really, really good with the items. And back through this room again. Ugh. I bonked and I lost my momentum. And spin. Come on, Space Jump, do your job. Okay. I could take Ridley out. It wouldn't really mean anything. I'm also not quite as well armed as I usually am when I take on Ridley. But it would not be too hard to full clear this area. I guess I could just actually aim instead of just unload at, at will. I need that ice beam. So, yes, there's a lot of items that we still need. But we've cleared a lot of the, call them the overworld checks, and we're getting to the point of needing to do dungeons. Like this area right here is the equivalent of a dungeon for Zelda. You only come down here to kill Ridley. Oh, there's Book. There's three more overworld checks just like that. Hey you, jump over me. Thank you. Hey you, ninja kick. Oops. expecting to find book. What does book give me? Book gives me... What's it called? Book gives me the, the tablets, the things that give you the spells. That's what book gives me. Uh, one of them's over by Hera. One of them's in the desert and I just have to mirror warp to get to it. Where's the other one? The map will tell me, but... I kind of want to try to remember on my own. I guess I should focus on fighting Ridley, not thinking of where some random item is. Yeah. 
pew, pew. As I immediately go into just spam missile mode like I always do. Okay, I had I had the diagonal button pressed at that time. Wonder if it counts if he is off screen when I damage him. Or I wonder if it damages him if he's off screen when it connects. All right. I don't have 11 million super missiles, so I guess we'll have to... Should be just about dead. Just die. I don't know exactly what the issue is, but if you Oh, that counts as the Dragon boss. Interesting. If you don't have... If you don't, like, let him grab you or something, the fight takes way longer. Ooh. I'll take that. Boop. That is a worthy reward for fighting this boss at a less opportune time than I normally do. I haven't even... No, I did. I beat Kraid. I beat Kraid. I was gonna say, I didn't even beat Kraid. I have not beaten... Fantoon. Oh. So there's a... Th I do not want to die to random bad guys just because I'm sloppy. Okay. Um. I don't know what the deal with Ridley is. You have to, like, let him grab you, otherwise you have to damage him, like, twice as much as normal. And I'm not sure exactly, like, how you make sure he grabs you. Maybe if, like, count your missiles so you know how much damage you've been doing. I don't know. But we have screw attacks, so for the most part, we're just going to laser and bomb our way through everything. So we have the Dragon boss counted as defeated now, which means we can potentially take some shortcuts through Meridia. If nothing else, We might be able to go and grab whatever is at the plasma location without having to double back like you normally would. I've never had to wrap that in before. All right, we're going to clean up the last couple items that I am already aware of. There's like 
three new items for us to check, but we're going to go grab blue mail and magic powder and then ice beam. Can I see what's there? No. I don't think Ice Beam is technically needed to beat the game, because I have Power Bombs. Alright, what's in this room? Missiles don't need to get that. Ridley is the hardest boss in the game, and he's already dead. I think that'll give me another heart in Zelda, so that was something at least. So I'm pretty sure we were sitting on 15. Up, down, up, down. Should not be that sloppy when I'm almost dead. Nope. I just wanted to spin up there to kill the guy, and it's like, nah, nah, you're a pixel off. Nah, nah, still a pixel off. All right. Fortunately... I hit the button enough times. It is trivial for me to pop in here and grab these items now. There's magic powder. Here's blue mail. And we haven't really done anything in Zelda yet, so... We did, what, one dungeon, so I get to do all of the other dungeons with armor? I'll take that. Especially if we find the other one. I don't want to take damage. I like to just bigger on sword my way through my problems. Uh, we know that to the right was nothing. I'm low enough on energy, I'm gonna, gonna save again to be safe. Um, let's see. The door I want is on the bottom side. Nope, not that one, not that one. I want the one on the left. Fill our energy because I just remembered that there's a free energy recharge station right here. Zoop zoop. Full health. Oonga boonga can commence. I didn't skip anything down there. And the ice beam that I have been staring at since we first got to Norfair, which is just sitting up here. But now I can literally fly and just grab it. I 
Now we're right back at the entrance to Norfair, and we have a nice easy Zelda right there. Um, yeah, I think Norfair is done. I mean, we skipped a couple items, but we saw them first. I'm pretty sure Norfair is just done. Even the boss is down. Crate is down. Meridia has a few more things, but I don't want to do Meridia yet because they don't have... Uh, what am I trying to say? I don't have Grapple Beam, so I can't do the last thing in Meridia. We could do a heck of a lot. We could do all erect ship. We could do everything else in Meridia. Or do we give Zelda another chance? I want to grab something before I forget. Actually, two somethings before I forget. There are two of those more obscure items that I don't want to forget that I didn't pick up because I'm so used to having already done it. Especially. This is very late in a Super Metroid game. Like, I could legitimately beat Super Metroid. There's nothing stopping me from beating Mother Brain. I have everything. I guess I can actually click on. No, I don't have that. I have... I think I do. I have that. I have that. I'm literally only missing Spazer and Grapple Beam. And Spazer, it would be useless. Useless. Because you can't have Spazer and Plasma at the same time. Spazer was useless, like, instantly. Alright. Really? We're gonna fly across. See what's in this item, because we weren't really very far away. But this item is inconvenient to come back to if you're like, oh god, what did I forget? And you go, oh, I forgot to check that. Spring ball. Oh. Huh. Well, there's... Gr there's Grapple Beam. That means that we legitimately have... 100% access to just beating everything in Metroid. There's literally nothing that can stop me. Because we already got the Dragon boss confirmed. We already got... I didn't actually... Did I beat the one to turn wrecked ship on? I think I did. I think I did. Do I... I, I don't want to do... I mean... Should I turn around and go do Meridia? Yeah. I don't want to. Why? Because I just don't like to do Meridia. So that'll be why I don't finish. I should, though. I really should. We 
we already did the Billy Mays room and all that, right? I'm sure we did all of that. That was a weird jump. There's one weird little item. Come on. It's probably nothing, but I almost came back here earlier to look at it. So, I had Speed Booster, but I had no real good way of freezing those things. Fine. Be little turds. Reserve tank. I almost came here just to jump over those and wall jump my way up just to look at what the item was. Just for the information. So unless I'm forgetting something, it's legitimately wrecked ship and the last bit of Meridia. Neither of which are particularly long. Because I already did like everything else. And as much as I would like to... Because I can, I feel like I should. And it's not even a matter of, oh, I know a trick or something. Like, no, we just have all the Super Metroid items. We should just go, because otherwise we're going to go try to do something in Zelda, and we're going to get locked by not having Bombos or something, because we didn't bother walking two feet farther and clearing wrecked ship. Even though we are super, super able to do it. When you, when you literally have all of the Super Metroid items, go beat everything. You can 100% it. Like, we... I am reasonably certain that I have not forgotten anything. That's just an energy tank, which I will skip. Interesting, it's still, it's still powered down. I thought this said... thought this said it counted as Fantoon being dead, because wasn't that what we got for... No, we got Ridley dead from... Huh. I thought we got Fantoon credit already. Maybe I just saw it on the map. We'll find out in a minute. Cause he doesn't stand a freaking chance against me. Unfortunately, I can't cheese him with the plasma beam like you can some of the other bosses. I mean, he didn't like that. I missed. That was on me. There you go. Normally I just super missile him and deal with it, but 
it's probably faster to use charged plasma shot. Especially if you don't miss like I do. Wow. Three charged plasma... Well, I mean, I have all the beams that are relevant. Wow. That was easy. Crystal 2. Did that count for turning the ship on? It looks like it, yes. Okay. So, when it says boss credit, it's only talking about for the purposes of beating the game. It's not talking about for the purposes of opening the areas. Don't care. Don't care. I don't know why I keep springing up so much. It's probably just because I'm pushing spring ball and I have high jump. I'm not used to having spring ball. Go get this. Take that, room of spiky death. I can fly. Up, up, up. And again, we can fly, so we do. Bomb capacity. At least that's an item. It's not a rupee. It's not great. It's not a rupee. Gotta be honest. I'm not really looking for anything right now. I'm just clearing because I can. It is fully possible that the right answer was to turn around and go back to Zelda, so we are actually looking for an item, not just clearing for the sake of clearing, but I can clear Super Metroid reasonably fast. So there's not really a good reason not to just go grab everything. Again, Metroid only has 100 items. Just you screw attack. Screw attack, screw attack. Yep. There, thank you. As long as you open the door, you don't have to kill all the enemies again. Would have sucked if I would have fallen into that one. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Bombs don't care. even really care about taking damage from these guys. Got two items left in wrecked ship. One of which we're just going to literally fly into. Right. Da! I got tripped by that thing. 
missile, don't care. Spring ball being slightly faster than dropping a bomb. I always thought that was a strangely aquatic area for being halfway up a rock thing attached to the wrecked ship. We don't care about spikes. Three items. There's three items left, and they're all in the same spot. We're gonna fast forward, because nobody wants to watch him. I need to get my actual fast forward button working again. I think it was, uh, I don't know why it's not working. I think I just didn't enable it or something. I haven't looked into it. Out of my way, out of my way. I don't... I don't even want to pick that up because I don't want it to override the one I have. Half magic I'll take, though. There's a quality of life fix for you. Roll right back under that blue boomerang. That's not the first time I've seen you get red before blue. And it's weird to me that they're A, separate, and B, not progressive. Alright, that was all of Wrecked Ship. All that's left is... Meridia. Unless I'm forgetting something, which is possible. Hopefully not. I'm going to click on... I'm going to click on Half Magic. And Magic Powder. We're really... We're missing, what? Cane, all of the spells, and... So we're really close to go mode in both games. Really close. I don't know which spell I need. But hopefully it just turns up while we do the dungeons we have to do anyway. I really don't want to have to walk all the way to Meridia. So we're not going to. And take advantage of that Zelda warp. So we're going to go down here, walk into Zelda, warp over to Dungeon 5. Which is literally right here. I thought I could warp onto the island. Oh, hey, we switched turtles. <laughs> Okay, now I kind of want to know if this fairy fountain just has treasure chests sitting in it. No, okay. Just making sure. Oh, dang it. We can't actually use this as... Lame. Forgot you're locked into Ice Palace. Fine.
Still, it's way faster to get around in Zelda than it is to get around in Metroid. Metroid, you kind of have to walk the whole way. There's no warps. So it is, even with my fumbling of going to Ice Palace instead of anything else, it is still faster to do this than to run all the way through Super Metroid to get back to Meridia. Wouldn't have been that long. You go down Red Tower and you're basically there. But, get out of the way. This isn't an item, right? This was a fairy fountain. This doesn't take us to the start of Meridia. This takes us deep in Meridia. And normally this is a useless area. But boom, we are way over there. Basically, Zelda lets you warp almost straight to Ridley and almost straight to Dragon. And there's what, one, one item that we skipped? Which I think we can literally just walk through the store and grab. Yeah. And it's a rupee, don't care. That was the only other item. The only actual item remaining in Meridia is on the other side of the door that you have to beat Dragon. And then there's the one in Dragon's room. There's what, three? Three Meridia checks left? But more importantly, the boss is going to go down. I mean, you were literally there. You could have just gone over. It's not like I'm going to let Dragon actually do anything. I mean, it's, it's fine. I'll take it because it's right there, but I don't need it. With Ridley dead, I don't need ammunition anymore. There's just... You know what? There. Back to what I was doing. <laughs> Wait for it. Deep fry the shrimp. Boss dead. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal three. All right, what was Dragon hiding? Ruby. We really only need the spells. And even then, I don't know which spells we need. So I'm going to check what's on the plasma beam location. 
which you can only do after Dragon is dead. We already did both quicksand. <sighs> really? I think that's it. I think we're literally walking towards the last Super Metroid check of the game. Mr. Uh, Mr. Earthworm has done some good work. He's pulled off a couple tricks that I uh, was not expecting to do. I wasn't expecting that to do anything. like to ride my big red rocket so we walk into the last check we have plasma beam so we can at least get out we started the game with plasma beam basically pew 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 have to kill these guys to open the door back out, so. I think that's all of them. What do we got? Missile. Thanks. Alright, that's it. Unless I'm forgetting something. Which I don't think I am. I mean, we did come in the back door. So I'm slightly worried I might have missed something at... What's his name? Botswoon? <sighs> Spring Ball location. Right. Spring Ball. There is... There is Spring Ball. Ugh. Spring Ball sucks. There was one more thing. Boing. All right. While I'm heading to Spring Ball. Now I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I managed to forget. What happens if I go into Botswoon's room backwards? I don't have to. I can just go down. I don't know why I don't do this in actual... Like, when I'm trying to go fast. Because this takes me... This is way faster than going the way I was going to go. Pew, pew, pew. I got the lantern. I don't remember what was on the other side. Did I even get it? Did I even look? I'm sure I looked. Okay, yeah, it was just... It was a rupee. This puts us pretty close to Spring Ball. Okay, I might have to purposely use Grapple just because I want to see his animation again. <laughs> if 
fast forward. Every time. All right, actual last check of Super Metroid is missiles, which is exactly what I thought it was the last time. Okay. We are going to stick our heads back into Zelda and save the game. Just want to see your animation. <laughs> That's silly. don't like how long it takes to get out of Meridia, into Meridia, the one-way paths. I already did Fishbowl, right? I'm pretty sure I already did Fishbowl. Thankfully, we're only a couple of rooms away from the Zelda transport. And f for the time being, we just say goodbye to Super Metroid. Literally, the only item we're missing is Spazer. And one reserve tank, one of which I know we saw and I skipped on purpose. Now that we're in Zelda. We're going to save and quit. And we're going to pick this up next time. Because it's late. I need to go to bed. We basically beat the Super Metroid half. There's, there's nothing left. Nothing left. Unless I forgot some quirky thing. Because when you do things out... So when I do like 100% Super Metroid, I do it in the same order every time. So it's kind of easy to miss one of those like little things. you just like, oh, I'll just detour over here. Boop, 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 boop. Get, get this, get this, get this. You skip one thing. You skip one thing and then you just assume you got it. But anyway. Next time, uh, apparently Leonardo and I are going to take the level 4 sword and go beat level 2. Mm, I'm out. <laughs>